So someone has asked me a question on being on a diet, a high protein diet, and this person is not in a 12-step program, and they were trying to follow this diet and avoid sugar, but then uh, eventually they succumbed and, and they had a, l a lot of sugary foods uh, and are feeling depressed by having all these sugary foods, and they were asking what they could do in this situation. Well. For someone who doesn't want to join a 12-step program, what you can do is start to remove um, the dualistic manner in which you're holding and representing the whole thing of needing to be on a diet and what having sugar means for you. And how you do this is you just try and see what kind of beliefs um, you've got. For example, you could be believing, I need to be thinner than I am to be happy. So you could cancel all of these limiting beliefs that you've got by not allowing yourself to be happy now. So you could do, I cancel my belief, I have to be thinner before I can be happy. I'm an infinite being subject only to what I hold in mind. So you could keep repeating that until the need to be thinner uh, starts to leave you. Um, you can also when you do eat sugar, you will have lots of different types of thoughts emerging, like I'm bad, I'm wrong, I should have done better. All of these limiting ideas start to, uh, thoughts of self-attack, um, lower self-esteem. So all of these thoughts, you just write them down and you cancel all of these thoughts. So you don't sort of label anything. Or you, m you might have the feeling, I'm fat. I need to lose weight, that's also a limiting belief, you can cancel that. Or I'm worried about what other people think of me, then you can cancel your need for approval from others. You see, you're an infinite being subject only to what you hold in mind. So you just want to be, be an investigator and find out what your limiting beliefs around weight and needing to diet, and if you break a diet, all those limiting beliefs that come up, and cancel all of them keep cancelling all of them until they start to lose their power. Then the other thing to do is to know what kind of emotions, like if you're feeling, uh, having feelings of low self-esteem or feeling so-called fat or having shame, you can start to just sit with these feelings and let go of the labels. So just allow yourself to experience these feelings maybe for 10 or 20 minutes every day. And then you'll start to find the, these these negative feelings that of dissatisfaction with the way you are right now will start to dissipate and you'll start to feel more peaceful and happy. And or if you're on a diet and you seem to be feeling better and then you have some sugary foods and all these f negative feelings come up, you can then sit with those feelings, not label them and try, uh, you know, and spend time with just allowing and accepting these feelings. And then you'll find they'll start to evaporate as you regularly sit with them. And the, the, this reaction of all these negative thoughts uh, and the story around it and also the, the high charge and the feelings around it will start to dissipate. So I definitely do that. Also, you can do the observer. You know, if, if you're feeling unhappy with your weight or how you look right now, you can go to the observer. What's observing all of this? Is there a detached observer of this which is not hooked into identifying with the body and the story that's going on in the mind? and also uh, around dieting and so forth. So you can practice all of those tools and then you'll find you'll get happier and happier. Also, as you release, usually food addiction or sugar addiction is released to, um, you could say, feelings of low self-esteem uh, or low self-esteem because you think you're fat or low self-esteem because of other issues which can be projected into feeling fat even when you're not fat or you can't or you can be overweight. But anyway, as you release these feelings and let go of these limiting thoughts, then you'll find that the traditional hunger, which is to, for an escape or a comfort, will start to disappear. So you will be able to maintain a healthy body weight.